to my channel. So I'm very excited to be filming this video because this is our first spring themed video for 2016. What? Can I get it? What? 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 I actually can't believe that it's almost springtime already. What's happening to this year? It's it's going by so fast. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for spring like I am. I'm definitely very excited. It's one of my favorite seasons. Every time I think of spring, I think of pastel colors and summertime because here in California, <laughs> springtime and summertime is kind of like combined. So if you put pastel colors and springtime and just mash them all in, it's just one big ball of happiness for me. I'm I'm excited. I'm very excited. So in honor of springtime, in honor of the new season, I wanted to do something different for this video. I wanted to try out new products for you guys. Basically step out of my comfort zone and stay away from the old products that I've been using. Not that there's anything wrong with the old products. I just really want to focus on the newness. That is our keyword for this video. And also challenge myself to try out new products and new brands. Thank you so much to Sephora for working working with me on this video. They sent me new products from new brands that are launching this spring, so in the upcoming months. So today I'm going to share with you some of those products throughout the video and I'm super excited because they're again, they're all new products, all new brands that I've never tried before except for one brand. If you follow me on Snapchat, you'd know which brand I'm talking about. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm excited to show you guys everything, my thoughts on the new products, and how many times have I said excited in this video already? A million times, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for this intro. We are ready to begin. Also, be sure to check the description box because I'm going to list more information about the products. So I'm gonna put the links in there and all of that good stuff. So be sure to check it out. And now I think that's it for the intro. I shall now stop talking. And now without further ado, here's the video. All right, so we're starting off in the shower after I've done my shampoo and conditioner routine. I'm using the Whey Treatment Mask which is a restorative healing mask for the hair. So if you have damaged hair or dry hair like I do, definitely check this one out. You guys have seen my hair lately. There's no denying it. It's been really dry, but this product did an amazing job of leaving my hair soft and smooth after one treatment. So big thumbs up to this product. So after I shower, I always use some type of body cream for my body. So here I'm using the new Brazilian Bum Bum Cream to add moisture back to my body to keep it hydrated. And this also helps tighten and smooth the look of the skin. So basically, I've been slathering this all over my body ever since I started using it. Moving on to my skincare, I actually started prepping my face the night before, so here I am, 11 at night. I'm using Kane and Wise Serum Savant. I'm using this to boost the radiance of my skin and it also helps reduce wrinkles. I'm just applying that to my face, forehead, and down to my neck area. Okay, so now back to morning time. First, I'm wetting my face with cold water to prep my face and I'm using a dry towel to pat dry my face. Next, I'm using the Dermaflash Facial Exfoliant leading device and I have to admit this was very intimidating to use at first but once I got the hang of it I absolutely love it it does a really great job of exfoliating my face it removes dead skin cells while also gently removing facial hair and it leaves my face super soft and smooth so I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that I'm obsessed with this product <laughs> Alright, so now moving on to the makeup, I'm starting off with this gorgeous purple eye pigment from Milk. I'm applying this all over my eyelid. This cream eyeshadow is highly, highly pigmented. A little went a long way when I was applying it. As you guys can see, the color is bold, it's vivid. It's crazy, but in a good way. And at this point, I'm not worried about it being too perfect. I'm just focusing on applying it to the lids. Later on, we'll be blending everything out. Next, I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. I'm taking that beige color and using it for my crease to get rid of harsh lines. This palette is limited edition. It has eight creamy eyeshadows that are perfect for everyday use. 
which is my kind of palette. You guys know me and my neutrals. And now I'm taking that dark brown eyeshadow and applying that to the outer corners of my eyes to smoke it out a bit. Okay, so I know I always say this, but don't judge it yet. I know the eyes look weird right now, but I promise once it all comes together, it's gonna look awesome. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna stop working on our eyes for now and move on to our foundation. I'm applying that to my nose, cheeks, forehead, and chin and blending it in with my damp beauty blender. After that, I'm doing the exact same thing with my concealer, applying it underneath my eyes and blending it in with my damp beauty blender. After the concealer, it is time to do a little bit of baking. I'm baking, I'm baking, I'm baking, baking, baking. While I wait for my face to bake, I'm adding color back to my skin. I'm using a bronzer and applying that to my cheeks, my temples, and my jawline. Still waiting on my face to bake, so I'm gonna work on my eyebrows. After that, I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the eyeshadow because I feel like we lost it a little bit when we applied the foundation, so just working on that. And finally, we are done baking, so I'm removing the excess powder with my big fluffy brush. Next, I'm applying a really light pinkish blush to the apples of my cheeks, and now I'm going in with a highlight to give me that really nice glowy and fresh look and just a little bit on my nose and now we are ah i don't know why i'm blanking out fake lashes i don't know why i blanked out for a second Ooh, see it is all coming together slowly but surely everything is coming together you just have to trust me you just have to trust okay so now i'm giving myself some wings i didn't do it too thick this time i went for for a more thinner winged line so it doesn't take away from the eyeshadow look because I really want the purple pigment to be the main focus for my eyes and now I'm just lightly lining my waterline to give it a bit more definition and after that I'm using a black mascara and coating my top and bottom lashes. Next is another new product from Sephora. This is the Wander Wander Out Dual Lipstick, which is amazing. It's basically a dual-ended lipstick bullet with two shades. One side is the bold color, the other side is the neutral color, which is what we used to balance out the entire look. And last but not least, I'm using the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder. We're using the Flash Photo Gloss, which has these really cool blue micro pearls in it to highlight the whiteness of my teeth so I'm just applying that all over my lips and that's it we are done with the makeup look we are now on to the hair I wanted a hairstyle that was effortless and simple I didn't want it to look too crazy and take away from the makeup so I went for a sleek and chic high bun <laughs> Alright, so our last step is perfume. I'm using the Derek Lamb fragrance and this is the full set of minis. There's a total of 10 and it features a range of scents and each are actually able to transition from day to night, which is really cool. I chose Drunk on Youth because I adore the name and I'm just gonna spritz that all over. And that is it. That is the finished look and here are some awkward poses because you know, it's not a that's heart video without the awkward poses. <laughs> So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to check the description box. I'm going to list all of the new products, the new brands in the description box. Basically, everything I used in this video will be linked down below. So be sure to check that out. And let me know if you guys do decide to purchase any of these new products. Let me know your thoughts on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can use the hashtag new at Sephora. This hashtag, step out of the comfort zone with me. Let's try try new products together so be sure to let me know your thoughts and I think that's officially it for this video be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video and that's it that's officially it I love you have an amazing day and I will see you very very soon Mwah. Mwah. last but not